Hey guys, it's NC and welcome back today to another video. And today, um, we're doing a Rise of Kingdom guide for change, you know? So, we're gonna be talking about what to do when you get zeroed and how to recover from a zero, okay? So, first things first, just don't get zeroed, okay? That's basic knowledge. Just don't get zeroed. So, as you can see, this is my city. Yes, I'm in KBK and I suck at power. Yes, I'm kind of a noob. But, when you go to your personal, there's rules they need to follow. Yeah, I got kicked. And like, you know, these rules or else you'll get zeroed or whatever, or blah, blah, blah. And my jigger. So, yeah, these are the rules. Um, and you gotta follow them. And try not, if you are a free to, free to play or a low spender like me, I spend some, but I don't spend a lot. Um, I usually buy these like sometimes, you know what I mean? But like, just try not to be a garrison leader or try to like take over the kingdom by yourself. I mean, just like think you're like the best player, okay? And this game's pay to win. You just gotta, you know, run with the flow. Try not to be a schmuck. Try not to, you know, just try not to get zero. That's the first tip. Just don't get zero. And second tip is, if you are a free-to-play player, you should not engage in battle. You can engage, but don't engage as much as, like, the pay-to-win play. You can still engage, but, like, don't take it too far. Cause last key, um, in season three, I was taking out cities to get some resources and then I got swarmed. And next tip is pop a peace shield. That's the easiest thing you can ever do is pop a peace shield and you'll be good. I uh, maybe put in some extra buffs like um, defense, maybe anti. Same guy as 